The only blemish during last year's regular season for the Wildcats came against the school just 10 miles northeast from Friday night's matchup. Reporter Will Armistead has more with senior Dwayne Evans and an Equal Valley basketball team that's picked up right where last year's team left off. Neuqua Valley entered the 2009-2010 campaign uncertain with how they'd fare this season relative to last year's 31-win sectional championship program, a team Coach Sutton regarded as the best team Neuqua's had, having the best senior class in school history. With nine seniors departing, the Wildcats look to lean on their only three players with significant varsity playing time in seniors Dwayne Evans, Kareem Amadou, and Rajan Mohammed. I didn't want really to place any uh, unrealistic expectations on the team for this year, but I mean, I think our team this year surpassed anything that um, anyone around the area expected of us. Uh, we're 21 and one. We knew we were gonna have to work a lot harder, so like we just had that we, get, we had that mentality just coming into the season, like yeah, we, we have to work a lot harder, and you know, we have to lead our team. We have to you know set the example and you know be the role players for our team. Shooting for a third super sectional berth in as many years, the trio have paced two double-digit win streaks this season. A course not possible without the emergence of several role players filling the void of those who've graduated. We um, individually not only knew that we would need to step it up and kind of contribute, but we also had the coaches telling us that they knew we'd be able to step up and it kind of gave us the confidence boost uh, in ourselves to know that we can do it. Dwayne's not always going to have a perfect night, Rashad's not always going to have a perfect night, so you know, we can always fall back on our teammates knowing that we have a balanced team. We need to be able to depend on each other to make big plays and come up, you know, just come up with big wins later on the season. Player versatility factors into the team's third consecutive 20-win season. Muhammad has assumed the role of a valuable point guard while their likely all-state forward put in additional off-season work to better suit a perimeter game. But one tangent the 6'5 senior has needed no work on is clear to those around him. Dwayne's our leader. I mean, he's obviously, you know, you know the best player on our team, but like he's, he's more than that. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a leader to everyone, not even like, you know, from the, the best players to the worst player on the team. It definitely gives everybody that confidence boost uh, just to kind of know that we can trust him, whether he's, if he had to ever play two guard, point guard, bring the ball up the court. Um, or whether it was down low posting someone up. We've been playing with each other since second, third grade. I think we know each other's game from wherever, whatever he does, I know what he's doing, he knows what I'm doing. Like, we always have a click like that, and I think that we always have a good um, competitive edge. We need to be able to depend on each other to make big plays and come up, you know, just come up with big wins later on in the season. A pair of victories over the weekend could help to secure Nequa Valley's third consecutive Upstate 8 conference title and leave the team two wins shy of their third straight 25-win season. Reporting from Nequa Valley High School, Will Armistead, Naperville Sports Weekly.